If you're looking to build more muscle at home with simply your body weight, you have to avoid the barriers which will greatly restrict you in doing so. And so in today's video, stay tuned as I'm going to go through five mistakes you may be making that are killing your gains when working out at home. So let's get into it. Right now, before I get into the video, I just want to say if this is your first time here, you are new to bodyweight training and calisthenics, and you want to get swole at home using nothing but your body weight, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you do not miss a single upload of mine. And please note, even if you aren't doing four of these mistakes, if you're doing just one of them, you are greatly going to restrict the amount of gains you could be making. So if I were you, I'd watch the whole entire video, my friend. Now the first mistake you may be making when you're trying to build muscle at home is that you're trying, you're making your workouts too cardio intensive. Now although cardio is very important, cardio and strength training should really be kept separately. Because if you try and do the two together, you're gonna be doing two things poorly rather than one thing well. Because if you're constantly just jumping from one exercise to another, your respiratory system's gonna be fatiguing rather than the muscles themselves. Meaning cardio gains rather than strength gains. You want strength gains, I'm guessing. And from personal experience, I can tell you for a fact, it is far superior to focus on one exercise at a time rather than trying to do three at once. Trust me, it's not very effective. And so what you wanna do is focus and prioritize one exercise at a time. And like I said about 30 seconds ago, do your cardio another time. Number two, stick into the same workout routine. Now you may be following a workout routine you found on YouTube that has worked very well, but if you're getting stronger over time, you simply cannot keep on doing the same exercises for same reps, sets, rest time, and expect different results. That is insanity, my friend. But unlike my workouts I put on my YouTube channel, I actually give you a progression guide from beginner to more advanced. And you know, I'm actually gonna leave a link to my last workout video. Go check it out if you haven't already. Now from my experience, I believe exercise variety is hugely overrated, but it is important, especially with calisthenics, because we actually need exercise variety in order to make an exercise with in-body weight training harder, as opposed to adding weight, like you would in weightlifting. So note that in mind, but if you catch yourself doing the same thing over and over again for a prolonged period of time and you aren't seeing results, now you know why. No matter, stress. Neglecting the posterior chain. Now if you're working at home with little to no equipment, it's very easy to train the muscles at the front of our body, such as the chest, the abs, the legs, all the muscles running through the anterior chain because it doesn't really need much equipment because the floor will do. Whereas with the posterior chain, we know if we wanna train our back and biceps optimally, we need a pull-up bar to do so. And even though there are ways to train the posterior chain with no equipment, a lot of people focus way more on push, push, push exercises rather than pull, pull, pull exercises. And the problem with this is that as your muscles in the anterior chain develop, way more than the muscles in the posterior chain, you're gonna round forward. And so not only is this gonna be horrible for your posture, you're gonna have dodgy knees, and next thing you know, you will get injured. Remember, we wanna be making muscle gains rather than injury gains. And if you're watching this video and you don't actually have a pull-up bar, I mean, come on, man, it's 10, 15 quid. Get a pull-up bar. Best investment you will spend in your life. Well, at least it was for me. Now, the fourth mistake you could be making when working at home is simply having no structure or routine. Now, the good thing with actually going to the gym, even though I don't go to one, is that it creates that discipline where you set days specifically where you go to the gym to get your workouts in. But if you have the privilege to work out in the comfort of your own home, which is actually everyone's privilege, a lot of people take this for granted and actually instead of working out on set days, they work out when they feel like it. So for the majority, they'll go guns blazing, balls to the walls for a week or two, and then do nothing for a month. Without consistency, how are you gonna get results, my friend? Failing to prepare is preparing to fail. And I actually just remembered, I made a video specifically on workout structure when starting calisthenics. So if you're new to body weight training and you don't know really how to structure workouts, reps and sets, etc., I'll leave a link there to take the guesswork out for you. Now, number five, I'll save the best till last. If you're struggling to build muscle at home, chances are you're making the mistake 
trying to multitask. Do not try and watch Netflix whilst you're doing squats. Do not try and text your mate in between a set. When you divide your focus on multiple things, you get a less desirable outcome from each task you've divided your focus on. So when you first thought you were saving time, you're actually wasting it. Like I said with tip number one, focus on one thing at a time rather than two things poorly. Set a time and schedule to get your workout in and dedicate that complete hour or however long you're working out for specifically for that workout. If you want to cook some dinner or anything else, do that another time not in between your workout because you will sabotage the amount of progress you can make in regards to each exercise if you give it less focus. Do not try and multitask my friend. Right so as that is all five of the tips or mistakes covered I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you like this video. If you like this video give this video a thumbs up as not only does it help support the channel grow gives me a good indication as to what you want to see. And a quick update, as this may have been like a week since I last made a video, for those that don't know, or you will know if you follow me on Instagram, yeah. I was caught with the flu, and I haven't actually worked out in almost two weeks, but I'm very near, I'm, I'm basically better. So if I were you, I'd stay tuned as I will catch you, my friend, in the near future.